Hey guys, Apple SDK Dev here. Sorry I really haven't been posting that many videos lately. I've just been busy with like school, work, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, so basically, this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own custom YouTube background. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And right before I get started off, I just want to show you this quick little picture. I have indeed um, submitted one of my first apps to the App Store. So as you can see right here, it's called Space Jump. Um, this is the version 1.0. It's the first one. I created a couple days ago, and basically the status right now, it's waiting for review. So I'm just waiting for like iTunes to look at it and maybe decide if they want it. So that would be cool. I just wanted to share that with you. So if you want to get started, go ahead and open Safari. And basically, I would suggest going to your own YouTube page. So once you're there, if you're on a Mac, go ahead and press Command-Shift-4. Hold down those four buttons. And basically what you want to do is you want to try and highlight your entire page as much as you can get obviously you're not gonna be scrolling down but get it just so it's like this hopefully you can see what I'm doing and go ahead and take the snapshot that's a snapshot right there then you can go ahead and minimize it and let's see if we can find it see there it is that's when we just talk so now that you have that you can go ahead and open any basic program that you want to use for editing you can use anything from a basic paintbrush to Adobe Photoshop either one I guess I'm just gonna do paintbrush to make it nice and simple so I'm going to go ahead and open, drag in my file. Alright, now that I'm here, there are a couple things i got to do. First thing I want to do is get myself a box tool and go like this. I'm going to turn this one into just, uh, I don't really know, just black on, black on white, that's good. And what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the entire thing with this actual writing. So we're going to go like this and go like that. And just in case you guys don't want to do this, I would completely understand. I've posted, um, if you look in the description below, there are going to be a couple images. Basically, there's an image just like this after I'm going to be done. There's a different image where if you were a partner, there are different size adjustments. There's a bunch of different images you can see them in display if you don't want to just do all the steps like me. So after I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and just do a regular box and take out all this lettering. Once you've done that, you pretty much have your blank and background. So now you can do anything you want. I mean, you can do some just random color. I'm not going to do much today. It's just kind of a waste of time, I guess. Woo woo. I don't know. You can write your name. It can be like Apple SDK Dev. Paste. Schnazzy. I'm just going to go ahead and save that. I mean, I'm not really going to upload it because then people would see it on my page and they'll be like, whoa, why do you do that? But um, I'm going to go ahead and open my um, one of my YouTube folders. Like, here are a couple of samples I've made. Uh, basically, as you can see, this is just a sample header. I made this for my friend, Help Me Help You 96. Check out his page. I'll put that link in the description below. He's one of my partners. He's a pretty awesome guy. He actually just got a YouTube partnership, so give it up for him. He's got, like, some iPhone tutorials, mostly Call of Duty. Check him out if you like that. But basically, this is the kind of um, whole background you would have. So basically, after you have that, and basically this is what it would look like if you had a developer one, because you see how it's a lot bigger right here. That's for like um your header that you just like clickable only if you're partner though. So after you have done that, you got your basic thing right here. Go ahead and open up your Safari again. When you're on your page, go ahead and open up your themes and colors. Then go ahead and show advanced options. Now, I mean I have one right here. You can press background image, choose file. Now once you're here. Go ahead and open up your new picture. And once you open it up, once you press choose, and as you can see, well, there it is. I mean, it's kind of sappy. Obviously, you guys can change it however you want. I'm not going to use that, so cancel. Yeah, but um, I definitely think it's pretty cool. I mean, definitely getting some nice graphics just like mine. I mean, I'm going to up update mine anytime soon. But I'm sure you guys can express your, uh, your ways pretty cool. So um, that's about it. If you like this video, found it useful, um, subscribe, like it, uh, rate it five stars, anything else. Uh, thanks, guys.